Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam. And I'm Tristan, and today we're going to be watching mm -hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. You excited? Yeah, I'm really excited to see how they pick up this one after the first one. The first one was the first one we ever watched, and <laughs> yeah. then we went out of order, but we went out of order because we watched that one first. Mm -hmm. So we haven't seen this in a while. If we had watched it in order, this one would have been two ago. Two or three, yeah, something like that, yeah. Something like that, but I don't really know what's going to go down here, and I'm wondering if we're going to get to see a little bit of other character action. Yeah, because I was wondering after the first Guardians of the Galaxy if the Avengers, the Age of Ultron, mm -hmm. if we were going to see um, any of those characters in there, if somehow they would have made their way into that movie because they, those other movies all take place on Earth and yeah. this <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, at least the first one, did not. And Doctor Strange. Remember you said... Oh, I wonder if this is going to relate to Guardians of the Galaxy because mm -hmm. in Doctor Strange they were like going to like other worlds and shit and yeah. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to get anybody else or if we're going to get the Thor. Let's get Thor. Yeah, I want Thor. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I just don't know. I know. I don't know. Either, I just don't know. But I know Groot is small. That's right. Because he sacrificed himself and then and then he was all small. Well, he was growing back in that thing, remember? And he mm -hmm. was dancing in yeah. the post credit scene. Yeah, so I wonder... Um, I feel like I remember trailers where he was like... It looked like a child Groot um, from back in the day when this came out. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe we're going to see like little kid Groot. <laughs> that would be Probably. cute. Probably. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. I don't know what to expect as far as where we left off with the first Guardians. So I'm excited to check it out. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. There's a girl in this harbor town and she worked Is that? What's his name? It's not Russell Crowe. That's the guy's Kurt name? Russell. Kurt Russell. I wonder if that's his mom. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Dairy Queen. Looks so old. Come on, this way, my river lilies. Come on. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God, it's a baby quote. <laughs> It'll be everywhere, all across the universe. <laughs> oh, that's got to be his dad, for sure. You think so? They said that his dad is a special type of being. Like, he's from outside of Earth, and his mom oh. was of Earth, which is why when he grabbed the thing, he didn't die when he grabbed the stone. Yeah. 34 years later. It's a lot of planets. Mm -hmm. Showtime, a-hole. There's our boy. Peter Quill, Star-Lord. Which will be its loss. Drax. Drax. Why aren't you wearing one of Rocket's arrow rigs? It hurts. It hurts. I have sensitive nipples. <laughs> <laughs> My nipples are no good <laughs> Look at the little group. Oh, it's a little baby group. Oh. oh. We were not looking at you funny. Oh. oh. That's intense. Yeah, plug that in so we can get copyrighted, baby girl. That'd be real soon. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, he's oh, getting, getting it. He's getting it. <laughs> he's so cute. He's so adorable. The last one, the beginning was um, Peter Peter Quill dancing, and now it's Groot dancing. That's right. Groot. <laughs> Fighting for their lives, and he's just having a grand old time. <laughs> Someone in the comments said that that's not like the same group. It's, like, it's, a, it's a completely new. New character? Like new group, mm -hmm. yeah. That when they die and then they get replanted, that's like how they. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could sit here and watch Groot dance all day. Mm -hmm. Aww. <laughs> the beast hide is too thick to be pierced on the outside. Yeah, it seems like. I it. must cut through it from the inside. That's oh. Right. Let it eat you. No! No, he loves it. <laughs> yeah, he does. Rocket, get it to look up. Oh Gosh, that's is so Drax yucky. gonna fall out of that? Oh, there he is. There he is. Covered in stomach acid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, hmm. I have single-handedly vanquished the beast. <laughs> he thinks he did it. Oh my gosh. Every citizen is born exactly as designed by the community. They got some gold going on in mm -hmm. here. We control the DNA of our progeny, germinating them in birthing pods. I guess I prefer to make people the old-fashioned way. <laughs> well, perhaps someday you could give me a history lesson in the archaic ways of our ancestors. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
Mm -hmm. I sure. would be honored. Pretty, uh, pretty repulsive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was right gonna there. say, aren't they together? I don't know if they are. Did they? They did kiss, did didn't they? they? I remember there was a moment where they all just kissed. <gasps> oh, that's Gamora's sister. She's worth no more to me than the bounty due for her and Xandar. Damn. Our soldiers apprehended her attempting to steal the batteries. You want to buy some batteries? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's get Baldi to Xandar and collect that bounty. Sorry if it seemed like I was flirting with the high priestess. I don't care if you are. Ooh, she doesn't care. She cares. Gamora is not the one. <laughs> what? Shadow. There are two types of beings in the universe. Those who dance and those who do not. Mm -hmm. You just need to find a woman who is pathetic. <laughs> like you. <laughs> oh no. So literal. Oh no. I'm hungry. Can you say that you're rude? No, it's not right yet. And I hate you. I will be free of these shackles soon enough and I will kill you. Weird, we've got a sovereign fleet approaching from the rear. Why would they do that? Probably because Rocket stole some of their batteries. Dude! Yeah. <laughs> Right. They were really easy to steal. That's your defense? Come on! You saw how that high priestess talked down to us. Now I'm teaching her a lesson. All those ships are remotely piloted. Oh my god, yeah, look at them. All command modules. Fire with the intent to kill. Oh, they're all excited. What's the nearest habitable planet? It's called Bearheart. You have to go through that quantum asteroid field. Oh, he's doing it. This is so dangerous. Well, to make it through that, you'd have to be the like greatest popcorn. pilot in the universe. <laughs> Lucky for us. I am. I... <laughs> <laughs> They're going to start, like, fighting over the controls, probably. Oh, yeah. They're... I'm the greatest pilot. Yeah, but... but that's going to get them in trouble. But... I was cybernetically engineered to pilot a spacecraft. You were cybernetically engineered to be a douchebag. <laughs> you're going to be laying down in your bed, and there's going to be something squishy in your pillowcase, and you're going to be like, what's this? And it's going to be because I put a turd in there. <laughs> oh, it won't be my turd. <laughs> It'll be Drax's. <laughs> Drax loves Drax it. Drax loves it. I have famously huge turds. We're about to die. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. oh, they were hit. Oh, she is gonna get out. It's not ripe. <laughs> oh. Oh my. It's gonna be really hard to aim when you get whipped around like right? that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, uh, you know, a whole group of people cheering him on. They went around the field! Now what? Uh, oh, they're getting shredded. What did you say? They Someone all destroyed all our ships! Who and why? What is that? Who cares? That's the jump point! Go! Go! It's a guy. Oh my yeah, God. you gotta get Drax still inside. out there? Uh, oh! Right at the last oh, second. Right. Oh no! Oh no. Bear for a really bad landing! Look, the people hanging out the back. Yeah. Are they not getting close. destroyed right now? Bear heart. Oh my goodness. Look, what are this. those? Where's the other half of our ship? Ship. How do you fly with what's between your ears instead of what's between your legs? Ooh, damn. If what's between my legs had a hand on it, I guarantee I could have landed this ship. <laughs> Peter. We just had a little man save us by blowing up 50 ships. How little? Like this? A little one-inch man saved us. <laughs> well, if he got closer, I'm sure he'd be much larger. If it's how <laughs> eyesight works, you stupid raccoon. Don't call me a raccoon! I meant trash panda. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> It's so much worse. <laughs> you shut up! <laughs> Someone followed you through the jump point. That's them. That's the little man. Yeah, who's the little man? I bet it's the one inch man. <laughs> oh, Drax. Maybe it's gonna be Quill's dad. I think we're gonna see them meet in this movie. Yep. Bingo. God, we're good, aren't we? Is that him? That's him. How do you see that? That's him. Because oh, yeah, I'm just right, that right. good. Okay. And who the hell are you? I figured my rugged good looks would make that obvious. I mean, My name is Ego. Ego. And I'm your dad, Peter. Boom! Oh, that's a blue guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, the one that can whistle and the arrow goes all over the place? Mm -hmm. like robots. Oh. Um, like sex robots? Yeah. Looks like a brothel. 
that way. I can never touch it, you know? What the heck? It's Mr. Oh. Salon. Seems like this establishment is the wrong kind of disreputable. Oh, he doesn't like it. He's not him. a fan. You can go to hell then! You betrayed the code! Ravagers don't deal in kids! I told you before! I didn't know what was going on! You didn't know because you didn't want to know because I made you rich. And the colors of a gourd will never flash over your grave. I wish I knew what they were talking about. Well, he said they don't deal in kids, and he's the guy that stole Quinn. Yeah, Quill? Quill. I was thinking that too, but... Quill betrays us, and Yondu just lets him go scot-free. Ooh, they're gonna mutiny. Uh-oh. She's like, we need your help. She walks cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see what she's doing. <laughs> I have a proposition for you. I hired Yondu to pick you up when your mother passed away. But instead of returning you, Yondu kept you. Because I was a skinny little kid who could squeeze into places adults couldn't. It made it easier for thieving. Well, <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. Even where I reside, out past the edge of what's known, we've heard tell about the man they call Star Lord. Let's say we head out there right now. Excuse me. Gotta take a whiz. <laughs> Mannerisms are weird. Wanna know why he left his mother? I am Mantis. Mantis. My goodness. What are you doing? Yeah. Smiling. <laughs> Can I pet your puppy? <laughs> <laughs> say yes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he is not gonna like getting pet. <laughs> <laughs> what was that story you told me about Zardu Hasselfrau? Who? He owned a magic boat. David Hasselhoff? Mm -hmm. Right. Not a magic boat, a talking car. As a child, you would carry his picture in your pocket and you would tell all the other children that he was your father. Listen, if he ends up being evil, we'll just kill him. <laughs> Simple. Shoot her if she does anything suspicious. Mm, nice. Or if you feel like it. Okay. <laughs> hey, it'll be just a couple of oh, days. Oh, good. We'll be back before Rocket's finished fixing the ship. Rocket's gonna be able to fix that whole ship? Because it's like really, really busted. Yeah, it is. Like, I don't know how he's gonna do that. Dang. What the heck? Did she just put him to sleep? Is that how he goes to bed every night? I wish I could have someone do that for me. Your antenna, what are they for? Their purpose? Yes. Cool and I have a bet. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to say that. That if you are about to go through a doorway that is too low, your antenna will feel this and keep you from being decapitated. <laughs> <laughs> Anything other than you specifically not being decapitated by a doorway, I win. They have something to do with my empathic abilities. <gasps> what are those? Mm. I can feel their feelings. Oh my goodness. Use it, I wanna see. Whoa, she's glowing. Her antennae are glowing. Love. <gasps> Romantic. Sexual love. Uh -oh. No, I don't. For her. No. <gasps> that is not. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you man. must be so embarrassed. <laughs> 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 do me, do me, do me. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> now she's so pointing at him. <laughs> Yeah, get her. Aww. Me, and the only thing you're gonna feel is a broken jaw. Aww. Ooh. I wonder if Rocket is gonna release that chick because he's all mad at them for making fun of him. Yeah, I was thinking when she was left alone with him that she'll, she's probably gonna escape somehow. Mm -hmm. like, I don't think Rocket's the best one to leave her with. For sure. Oh. Or they're gonna get ambushed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, good scared. Oh, he, he knows oh. what's going on. Oh. Wow. He's really good. Wow. <laughs> He's fast. I think that guy had to act that out, like pretending to get punched with his little yeah. fists. <laughs> uh -oh. This golden gal with quite a high opinion of herself is offered us a large sum to deliver you and your pals over to her because she wants to kill you. He needs my help. Groot, no. You care about him. You need to get me out of these bonds. Don't do it. Give me your word you won't hurt Groot. And 
I'll tell you where the batteries are. Otherwise, I'd actually hand you over. Otherwise, you'd what? They're worth what, a quarter mil on the open market? That priest has offered us a million. A quarter is only one third of that. <laughs> a quarter ain't a third. A quarter is 25. Suppose it's time for a change in leadership. Wow, here we go. So Groot definitely freed her. Oh no. She got her food. Oh, and it's not even ripe. Oh, she's gonna say, oh, it's not ripe. I knew it. Ripe. I knew it. <laughs> oh, this is where Ego lives. Looks really cool there. Very colorful. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Is this just like a happy planet or what? It seems like it. Maybe on the surface, but maybe there's some scary shit here. Something ain't right. What are you exactly? I'm what's called a celestial, sweetheart. A celestial like a god? Small G, son. Mm -hmm. Do you think he knows Thor? First thing I remember is flickering. Adrift in the cosmos, utterly and entirely alone. I desired meaning. I created what I imagined biological life to be like, down to the most minute detail. Wow, you did a good job. Oh my goodness. Did you make a penis? <laughs> what is wrong with you? If he's a, good a point. planet, how could he make a baby with your mother? Exactly. It would smush her. I, uh, my father would tell the story of impregnating my mother every winter solstice. That's oh disgusting. Was every it? winter solstice. It was beautiful. <laughs> Earthers have hang-ups. Yes, Dre. <laughs> I got a penis. <laughs> ah, thank you. That's not half bad. Oh. I was not alone in the universe after all. It was with Meredith that I first experienced love. From that love, Peter. You. Whoa, it's little Peter. If you loved her, why did you leave her? Yes. Dang, sick burn. Tell us. Ah, of course not. <laughs> they, they don't. Want... I'm gonna leave us hanging on. They're gonna leave us hanging. No! Oh, oh, I hate this. Why are they doing this? Oh no, these people have gone nuts. Oh my! Wow. Whoa! I've just been releasing all the people that weren't on their side. Yeah. It's time. For the Ravagers to rise once again to glory with a new captain, Taserface! Taserface? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, your name is. It's Taserface? <laughs> That's right. Dying is certainly better than having to live an entire life as a moronic shitbag who thinks Taserface is a cool name. That's enough killing for today. She's a daughter of Thanos. <laughs> I thought you were the biggest sadist in the galaxy. That was when Daddy was paying my bills. Oh. I want ten percent of the take. And a couple more things. <laughs> we got a whole box. Oh, she got her arm back. As a child, my father would have Gamora and me battle one another in training. Every time my sister prevailed, my father would replace a piece of me with machinery. Wow. Claiming he wanted me to be her equal. Hmm, that's why she's like half machine. So after I murder my sister, I will buy a warship with every conceivable instrument of death. I will hunt my father like a dog and I will tear him apart slowly. Peter, listen, I'd love to believe all of this. I really would, but you left the most wonderful woman ever. I didn't want to leave your mother, Peter. If I don't return regularly to my planet, this form will wither and perish. Give me your hand, son. Take your brain to the center of this planet. Yes! Whoa! Yes! What can you do with that? Peter. Toss me the ball. Oh, they're gonna have a catch! Yeah. He's finally getting to play catch with his dad. That's nice. He raised me by hand and kept me as his own. So you're a pet. People usually want cute pets. Why would you go on such a hideous one? <laughs> I am hideous? That's so you are horrifying to look at, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't think god. they're getting together. But he likes that watch. But that's a good thing. Oh? 
When you're ugly and someone loves you, you know they love you for who you are. Then I'm certainly grateful to be ugly. <laughs> She's not even ugly. She's I know. so cute. Yeah. I think he just doesn't know <laughs> what's up. He has different taste. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Oh no. There's something I must tell you. Uh oh. What? What? No! Of course you would walk in and ruin it tomorrow. <sighs> what were you about to say to Drax before I walked out? Yeah, tell us. I wonder if it's about his dad. <coughs> we deliver you to the Cree in the morning. Neither one of you will last much longer after that. Me and Stakar, the other captains. We weren't so different from you and your friends. When I broke the code, they exiled me. This is what I deserve. I think we're getting a lot of background on people in this yeah. movie. Why didn't you deliver Quill the Ego like you promised? He was skinny. Could fit into places we couldn't. Mm. Uh-huh. You liked and him, what? too. Yeah, and what? You got an idea on how to get out of here. <laughs> He's wearing one of their little suits and he doesn't like it. No! Oh. Oh. Hey, you want to help us get out of here? Hmm? There's something <laughs> I need you to get and bring back to me. There's a prototype fin. There's a drawer next to the bunk. It's in that. Yeah, he's like, he's not bringing that back. <laughs> he's going to bring back something else. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew it. Underwear. Yeah, That's my underwear. That's my underwear. <laughs> have to explain it more careful. Oh. Is that a thumb? Or a big toe? Tell me you guys have a refrigerator somewhere with a bunch of severed human toes. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Then let's just agree to never discuss this. <laughs> he really just cut <laughs> off someone's toe. Still... <gasps> that guy's gonna help. I didn't mean to do a mutiny. <laughs> Whoa. That thing's powerful. Man. Yeah, that would be a really so useful fast. thing to have. Uh oh. You guys better step on it. Yeah. He's got it! Yeah, he's got the fear! Little thug group. Mm -hmm. Thug group? Oh. It's crazy how fast it is. I like, know. You can't do anything about right, it. Right, yeah. You just have to accept your fate. Bingo, That's what I mean, it's so fast. Why is he not king of the universe? That's what I don't get, because obviously there's people more powerful than him, but it's like, this thing's pretty useful. Oh, Groot's gonna get him, look at Groot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> They're just having a good old They're time. They're having fun. Ooh, he's got a firework for him. The whole ship's gonna blow. Not the whole ship. Okay. He ain't got for this. Who is this? I am sending you the coordinates for Yondu's ship. Your high priestess. Tell him the name of the man what sealed his fate. Taste our fate. <laughs> 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 Where to, Captain? Ego. No, what? Why do you say no? It ain't healthy for a mammalian body to hop more than 50 jumps at a time. I know that. Oh, God, that was freaky. What are you doing, Peter? Dance with me. She's not a dancer. I'm going to dance with you. This is Sam Cooke. Look, she's dancing. Dang, she's a dancer. When am I gonna do something about this unspoken thing between us? Uh oh. What unspoken thing? Cheers, Sam and Diane. <laughs> a guy and a girl on a TV show dig each other but never say it because if they do, the ratings would go down. <laughs> what we should be discussing right now is something about this he place. He says. <laughs> doesn't feel right. Uh -oh. What are you talking about? So something's up. This is real. I'm only half human, remember? That's the half I'm worried about. You're jealous because I'm part God and you like when I'm the weak one. You were insufferable to begin with. Oof. This is not cheers after all. <laughs> this is whatever the show is where one person is willing to open themselves up to new possibility and the other person is a jerk. I finally found my family. Don't you understand that? 
I thought you already had. Oh. oh. No, something's definitely up with the dad. Yeah, something isn't right. Well, I don't want to believe that he's just like an imposter or he's That's what I'm wondering. betraying him. That's what I, w- I was thinking that uh, earlier. If it's like not actually his dad, oh. it's like somebody that's like cloned or something. Yeah, I hope that's not the case. Coming in hot. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, huh? Oh, no. Go somewhere else because she's just gonna be like. Pfft. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna stumble upon something? Some cave of archives? Some show- archives? <laughs> yeah, that shows that Ego's an evil, crazy man. See ya. She ain't gonna be dead though. No, I don't think she's gonna be dead. She's subdued for the moment. Oh, never mind. There she is. Oh, are you gonna go save her? Yeah. It's fortuitous you listening to this song. You know, uh, Brandy? By looking glass, we're the sailor in that song. He came on a summer's day, bringing gifts from far away. My Lady is the sea. The sea calls the sailor back. He loves the girl, but that's not his place. Sea calls upon him as history calls upon great men. Death will remain a stranger to both of us <laughs> as long as the light burns within the planet. I'm immortal. Mm-hmm. Dang. He's half immortal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I can use the light to build cool things like how you made this whole planet? Get ready for an 800-foot statue of Pac-Man with Skeletor and Heather Lock. <laughs> what do you want? Drax, yeah, we start, need to talk. S- start spilling the information. I'm sorry, but I like a woman with some meat on her bones. <laughs> what? I tried to let you down easily by telling you I found you disgusting. No, oh. that's not what I did. Oh, I'm imagining being with you physically. Drax, oh my goodness. That is so fucked up. He's so rude. You are in danger. Tell us. I wonder if there's a reason why his name's Ego. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking that. My innate desire to seek out other life was not so that I could walk among that life. So I could destroy it? I have found meaning. Oh my god. Are those all skeletons? Uh oh. Need to get off this planet. Yeah. What, what did we say though? We said that it looked way too happy and cheery. Yep. You said there's gotta be a dark side mm-hmm. in here or something? Something well, they, like that, yeah. There you go, they found the archives. Yeah. <laughs> I told you they were gonna find way something like so <gasps> Stanley! At that time, I was a Federal Express man. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks so casual. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. Tell me how you talked about him. This ego's bad news. We're here to save Quill. I want to save Quill so I can prove I'm better than him. <laughs> I can lord this over him forever. <laughs> you can fool yourself and everyone else. But you can't fool me. I know who you are. You don't know anything about me, loser. I know everything about you. Because we're the same. You push away anyone who's willing to put up with you because just a little bit of love reminds you how big and empty that hole inside you actually is. I said shut up. I know, I know who you are, boy, because you're me. What did I say? I knew it. It is my purpose. And now, it is yours as well. Oh, poor Peter. He's gonna find out his dad's evil. Over thousands of years, I implanted thousands of extensions of myself on thousands of That's what he's yep. doing. The beginning of the movie, yep. Imagine he's the one that killed his mom. Uh... Which is why he never came back. A single celestial oh, no. doesn't have enough power for such an enterprise. But two celestials, well now, that just might do. The bodies are his children. What? The most beguiling was attempting to graft my DNA with that of another species. Oh my god. I hoped the result of such a coupling would be enough to power the expansion. 
Oh, he's got lots of kids. I had Yandu deliver some of them to me. It broke the Ravage's code, but I compensated him generously and... That's what he's doing with children. Not one of them carried the celestial genes. Until you, Peter. Oh. My. God. We need to find Peter now and get off this damn planet. Ego will have won him to his side by now. He has a way. Let me just go. No, he's our friend. Oh, yeah, I, I can't need to do is mind. yell at each other. You are not friends. You're right. We're family. Oh. We leave no one behind, except maybe you. <laughs> <laughs> except maybe you. <laughs> you said you loved my mother, and that I did. You did. I returned to Earth to see her three times. And I knew if I returned a fourth, I'd, I'd never leave. Reason for my very existence would be over, so I did what I had to do. It broke my heart to put that tumor in her head. I knew it! Oh, oh my god. What? No, no, all right. That's not the man. That of sounds bad. Oh, but you can't kill him. Yeah, he's not gonna go down like this. I tried so hard. Find the form that best suited you, what? and this is Dave the Nessler. thanks I get. Damn, this is I so wanted evil. to do this together. This story just got so wild. I know. I did not think that his dad was gonna be evil. I mean, once they got to the planet, I was kind of thinking something was weird. But when he first showed up, I thought he was just gonna like find his dad. You know? Yeah. No, you can't take that. This is the sea. Oh. This guy just is hurt me a inside. dick bag. Oh my god. Hey there, jackass! <laughs> What's Smurfette doing here? Whatever I need to do to get a damn ride home. Yeah, how are they gonna defeat this guy? There's a center to him. His brain, his soul, whatever it is. Some sort of protective shell. It's in the caverns below the surface. Yondu? Yeah, who knew that we would be on the same side as Yondu? I knew something was up because he liked uh, Quill so much. Real dad's Yondu, kinda. Yeah, it's like adoptive father, yeah, he's basically. Yeah, adopted daddy. You people have issues. Well, of course I have issues. <laughs> <laughs> That's my freaking father! <laughs> The crabby puppy's so cute, he makes me want to die! <laughs> <laughs> Where are the gold people at? Yeah, they're probably gonna be an issue. There they are! Oh gosh. There. That's Ego's core. <laughs> it will not take Ego long to find us. Keep it steady! This is not gonna work. This is not gonna destroy him. No. Oh, if the light goes out, though, then that means he's not immortal anymore, right? Yeah, but how- they're not gonna be able to do that this easily. Remember that Aisha chick? Yeah, what? Uh... Oh, hell! <laughs> ah, of course! All cause Rocket wanted to steal the batteries. Yep. I think I packed a small detonator! A detonator is worthless without explosives! Well, we got these! Is that thing strong enough to kill Ego? If it is, it'll cause a chain reaction throughout his entire nervous system. He's coming. Oh, God. Yep. Didn't you say you could make him sleep? You don't have to believe in yourself. Oh. Because I believe in you. Oh. And you're ugly. <laughs> I'm asleep. You got it, man. Just do it. Sleep now. So close. I never thought you'd be able to do it. <laughs> weak and skinny as she appears to be. <laughs> For the bomb to work, we'd actually need to place it on Ego's core. And our fat butts ain't gonna fit through those tiny holes. Well... <gasps> Baby group not That's guy. a terrible idea. First you flick this switch, then this switch. Then you push this button, which will give you five minutes to get out of there. Now whatever you do, <laughs> He's just like, don't push this button. Repeat back what I just said. I'm Groot. Uh-huh. I'm Groot. No! No! Oh. That's the button that will kill everyone! I'm Groot. No! <laughs> that's exactly what you just said! How is that even possible? <laughs> How is that even possible? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shut up and give me 
Hey! Uh-oh. Oh, oh my god. He's so cute. We're all gonna die. <laughs> this is gonna hurt! Promises, promises. That serious. They just really want them dead, you know. I, I know. Oh. No. He's Dang. fine. He's gotta be fine. Boom. There he yeah. is. Look how upset and worried yeah, she was. Yeah, she is so upset and worried. You look like Mary Poppins. <laughs> is he cool? <laughs> Hell yeah, he's cool. Yeah. <laughs> he's really cool. Hell yeah, he's cool. Oh, oh my god. Mantis, look out! <laughs> oh! Oh, now he's awake. Oh. Yeah. I won't till the bomb goes off. In the unlikely event the group doesn't kill us all, mm. about six minutes. Somebody's gotta be up top when Kraglin arrives! Oh, my nipples! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> he's got sensitive nipples, yeah. that guy. His poor little nipples. Yeah, his nipples. <laughs> Onto something. Oh, oh here's his sister and saver. Oh, nice. Okay, I guess we're gonna oh. see how effective his arrow is against. I mean, it this looks thing. like it's going pretty well. I mean, it is working out. He's fighting a celestial with it. Yeah. You gotta use your powers. You gotta use these new abilities or newly discovered abilities. Oh. Oh yeah, he's creepy. He's creepy faux show. What is arrow bro? Oh, he's left arrow go the same. Alright, where's Groot with the bomb? Uh oh, oh there he is. <laughs> Oh goodness. What is that? Oh that's what it is. It's called get the heck out of there. Yeah, it's called don't stand there filming yeah. whatever the hell you don't understand. We were so close to that thing. Stop pretending you aren't what you are. Wow, he's just slaughtering yeah. so many people. I don't use my head to fly the arrow oh. I use my arm. Oh. <laughs> Kick his ass! You shouldn't have killed my mom and squished my Walkman! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> That's already killed so many people. Yeah. Oh, please don't use the wrong button! <laughs> uh oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Groot. No! <laughs> he, oh. oh, you're so smart! <laughs> Look at him! Look at his little legs! He's so cute. He's so I cute. I can't handle it. I, I can't freaking handle it. I want one. Think what did Mantis say about Rocket? I want to die! Yeah. He's so cute, I want to die! Oh, he's kicking his butt. Dang. We're about to blow! Get to the ship! Not without Quill! You need to take care of the twig! Not without you! <gasps> I ain't done nothing right my whole damn life, Rat. Uh-oh. You need to give me this. Ooh, we're gonna see him die? They make I us like him. starting to like him, him now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> know, That's why I think heck? we're gonna see him die. A space suit and an arrow rig. I only have one of each. I am Groot. Aww. What's that? He says, welcome to the frickin' Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. Only he didn't use frickin'. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's it's <Pac> <laughs> you don't got a lot of time. I'm not leaving without him. Oh. Yes, you are. See what? It? I'm sorry. Oh. I can only afford to lose one friend today. Oh, Rocket. If you kill me, you'll be just like everybody else. What's so wrong with that? Ooh. No! 
Okay. <gasps> See ya. Hopefully never again. Yep, there goes the powers. Where's Yondu? There we go. Yes! He may have been your father, boy, but he wasn't your daddy. Yes! <laughs> he wasn't your daddy. Yes! I'm damn lucky you, my boy. Dang, this is what we needed. What? Yondu! Oh, no! Wow, they're really gonna do this to us. Right when we start to like Yondu. Yep. No! What are we talking about? Well, this is really sad. When I was a kid, I used to pretend David Hasselhoff was my dad. <laughs> Yondu didn't have a talking car, but he did have a flying arrow. <laughs> it's arguably cooler. Yeah. Both Yondu and David Hasselhoff went on kick-ass adventures and hooked <laughs> up with hot women. <laughs> <laughs> and fought robots. That's right. I guess David Hasselhoff did kind of end up being my dad after all. <laughs> Only it was you, Yondu. Sometimes that thing you're searching for your whole life, it's right there by your side all along. I was concerned with staying alive until the next day, every day. And I never considered what Thanos was doing to you. There are little girls like you across the universe who are in danger. You can stay with us and help them. Yeah, do I'll it. help them by killing Thanos. Damn. I don't know if that's possible. Dang, she's giving her a hug. Captain found this free in a junker shop, said you'd come back to the fold someday. It's a Walkman. It's called a Zune. It's what everybody's listening oh, to on Earth nowadays. Oh, it's got 300 iPod. songs on it. 300 songs? A Zune, they don't even make those anymore. Rocket grabbed the pieces and reassembled them. I think Yondu would want you to have it. They and came. I know that it's not easy to be calm. When you found something going on. What is it? Yeah, what, what is, is it? it? I sent word to Yondu's old Ravager buddies and told oh. them what he did. It's a Ravager funeral. Oh, they're like fireworks. What? They're fireworking. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's in on it. Really excited. Yeah. <laughs> He's, He's in, in on, on it. it. <laughs> You're gonna eat a homie now. Oh, okay. They're just trying so hard to make us gush over a little group. We love little group. <laughs> just too cute. Oh. You're still young. That's your fault. If you want. It's an unspoken thing. Look at me. Dang. Oh, they love each other. They do. It's beautiful. <laughs> Drax likes her. I knew so it. So are you. <gasps> I Aww. knew it. On the inside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Couldn't just leave it at, and so are you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mommy's all right. Oh, what do we got? Oh, he's got to get his practice in. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He's just gonna back out of the edge. Like, okay, see ya. I gotta practice that far yeah. away from people. You know, it's a shame that it took the tragedy so, um, of losing Yandu to bring us all together again. I'm in. <laughs> Dope. I miss you guys so much. What? Hell yes. What say we still see shit? Yeah. yeah. It was using like, Doctor Strange stuff. Yeah. Looks like a ragtag bunch. Hi, Priestess. The council is waiting. Oh, she's, they she's losing her mind. They have wasted our resources. When they see what I have created here, their wrath will dissipate. That, my child, is the next step in our evolution. You are capable of destroying the guardians of the galaxy. Just because of the batteries? I know, what I think the... I shall call him Adam. Adam? Adam and Eve? What the... Oh, dude. Seriously? You gotta clean up your room. It's a complete mess. <gasps> He's a teenager. He's a teenager. I am I am not oh my boring. God. You're boring. What's boring is me tripping over your vines every day. He's I'm treating him like a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know how young felt. Yeah, he's like his dad. Yeah, that's so crazy. It's hilarious. Fellas. Stanley. Hey, wait. Where are you going? Hey, you were supposed to be my lift home. <laughs> how will I get out of here? I've got so many more stories to tell. Oh, guys. 
<laughs> I, mean, I would listen to him. That was cute. So, what'd you think? I liked it. You liked it? Yeah, it was good. I liked, uh, I did not like, actually, that they got us like in Yondu, <laughs> and then they killed him off. What are they doing I would, to I us? I sensed that as we were starting to like him, and he was working with the good guys. Mm -hmm. I was like, something might happen to him. I thought I he was going to become a part of the team. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, and uh, but I did like the whole story, and I liked the whole bringing his dad into it, and then us finding out that his dad was like evil because we both thought like something's weird. Like once they're on that planet, and it was all happy and stuff. We were like, what the heck? Yeah, it's like too good to be true. Yeah, we're like, there's gotta be. You said there's gonna be some darkness or something. I, I, was I know. Like, yeah. Nothing's ever that perfect. Nothing's ever that beautiful and happy. Like, yeah. There's gotta be a dark side to things. And his name was Ego. And yeah, he was like all full of himself. <laughs> so that's like. I like that they did that. Mm -hmm. And we got to see uh, Kimura and, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, Peter kind of get together. Yeah. They did a little hug at the end. There's no kissing. but yeah. So maybe they haven't kissed before then. Yeah, I can't remember if they kissed well, in the first one. I feel like one. they did, though, in the first one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, and I like Baby Groot so yeah. much. He's so cute. He's so um, cute. I love him. But other than that, yeah, it was just a, it was all around good movie. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how it translates into the rest of the movies because it looked like uh, Yondu's old squad was like getting back together at the end or something mm -hmm. and then that one guy was using Doctor Strange power so I'm right. wondering if that's going to play into it like when all the universes are going to come together and we're going to see like the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy mm -hmm. and Doctor Strange and... yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing how it all connects yeah but yeah, I, I really liked this one a lot. I liked the first one, obviously, but I think I enjoyed this one better. And sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to uh, process what we just watched and be able yeah. to, to rank them and decide what I thought was better, what I enjoyed more. But I think immediately after watching this, I think I enjoyed it better than the first one. I think I like this one better than the first one, too, because yeah, I mean, we're more familiar with the characters. Yeah, which I mean, I, with a lot of sequels, some, they're... They're often worse than the first ones, even yeah. though you're familiar with the characters. But with this, I actually, I mean, I think getting to know them better was nice, especially Definitely. like Nebula and uh, Yondu and um, getting some background on some of these people. And then the whole twist with his dad being this malevolent being and mm -hmm. uh, having celestial. The, yeah, the celestial having killed his mom, too. Like, he actually I put know. the tumor in her head. I can't believe that. Yeah, I was thinking that, that when he was talking about mm -hmm. stuff because I, I said, like, I was like, I wonder if he's the one that killed his mom right. mm -hmm. when he was talking about all those other beings. Yeah. Oh, man, it's crazy. Yeah, when he admitted that, I was, it just, oof, that was a really disturbing yeah. sentence to hear. 100%. That was a really great movie. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see the third one whenever we get around to it, but it'll probably be a while. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a like because it helps us out so much. And if you're new here, subscribe and check out the links in the description because we both have our own individual YouTube channels mm -hmm. linked down there and our Twitch streams and we'll see you in the next video. Later. Bye.